As we anticipate the turning of a new year, we come before the Lord, seeking blessings for 2021. We begin with confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, love from the beginning, word made flesh, breath of heaven. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sinfulness before God and before one another, trusting in God's endless mercy and love. Merciful God, we, we confess, confess that, that we are not perfect. perfect. We, we have said and, and done, done things we regret. regret. We, we have, have tried, tried to earn your redeeming grace while denying it to others. others. We, we have, have resisted, resisted your call to be your voice in the world. Forgive us, loving God. Give us your righteousness, the strength to put aside our failures, and the courage to try again. Amen. Dear people of God, hear the good news. Christ the Savior is born. You are loved and forgiven in the name of Jesus who has come among us, you are freed from proving that you deserve to be loved because God's love is given to you as the most precious gift of all. Rejoice in this love and share it with the world. Amen. Amen. We sing the bells of Christmas. in a world of space and time, and through the events of our lives, you bless us with your love. Grant that in the new year we may know your presence, see your love at work, and live in the light of the event that gives us joy forever. The coming of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading is from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war 
and a time for peace. What gain have the workers from their toil? I have seen the business that God has given to everyone to be busy with. He has made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, he has put a sense of past and future into their minds. Yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. Moreover, it is God's gift that all should eat and drink and take pleasure in all their toil. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the Ecclesiastes reading, we are told there is a time for every matter imaginable. Do you notice the time? Or does it slip away from us? Think about the time you have taken for granted and thoughtlessly allowed to go by. Then ask yourself, what is this time shaping up to be? And what will you do with the time you have? It is a gift provided for you. responses as we read Psalm 8. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You whose glory is chanted above the heavens out of the mouths of infants and children. You have set up a fortress against your enemies to silence the foe and avenger. When you consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have set in their courses. What are mere mortals that you should be mindful of them, human beings that you should care for them? Yet you have made them little less than divine. With glory and honor you crown them. You have made them rule over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet. All flocks and cattle, even the wild beasts of the field. The birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Psalm 8 is a tribute to the name and divine majesty of our Lord and Maker, a testimony to the wonders God displays for our adoration and enjoyment. Answer the question that the psalmist asks here. What? are mere mortals, that you should be mindful of them, human beings, that you should care for them.
Our second reading is from Revelation chapter 21. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. In Revelation, the closing book of Scripture, we are given a final disclosure to open up our God's hope and provisions for us. Coming down from heaven, a new city is created, a home in which our lives will be transformed. This new environment will be without the darkness, the sorrows, and the troubles we experience as inevitable today. God will be present in ways we have yet to appreciate. What do you feel when you hear these words from the Alpha, the Omega? Why do you think we are given this glimpse of what is to be? We come together for prayers for this new year. Almighty God, by our baptism into death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, you turn us away from the old life of sin. Grant that we, being reborn daily to new life, may live in righteousness and holiness all our days. As we enter into a new calendar year, let it become for us a time it is truly new. We pray, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, send your Son now into the hearts of your people. Let all the nations gather before you. May we recognize the shepherd as our king. We pray, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, protect us from the rages of storms and dangerous driving conditions. Let common sense be prevalent among the people on this night and as Christmas and New Year's celebrations come to their closure. Keep us content in these times of remaining at home without our usual compliment of visiting. We pray, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, come to those who are suffering from disease, injury, and mental stresses. May you guide physicians, nurses, and all those providing care. Continue to give them stamina and courage. Attend to all on our prayer list and all those we name in our hearts before you. 
get the COVID vaccine safely and quickly disseminated. We pray. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, be present with our nations and world leaders. Provide them with intelligent and creative guidance. Show them how to be generous and wise, selfless and loving. Give us local leaders who will cooperate and put the needs of the earth and its people first. We pray. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty and eternal God, draw our hearts to you. Guide our minds and fill our imaginations that our lives may be wholly yours, dedicated to doing your will as we keep our neighbor foremost in our minds with love. May our serving be done through Jesus Christ, who sends us his Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace from God's own heart, peace from the child in the manger, and strength from the Spirit of life be blessings for you today and forever. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. God.